In this video, we will solve a numerical problem that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question is, suppose in an economy, in any period t, the aggregate value of output is being given us, that means yt is equal to ct plus it, that means output is equal to the sum of consumption plus investment. First question is, suppose consumption at period t is equal to 0.6 yt plus 0.3 yt minus 1 okay and investment at a point at a time period t is equal to 1000 for all t what is the only value of output which once attained in this economy will continue to persist our time okay so we need to find out the long run output in this economy okay so what we are being given we are being given yt is equal to ct plus it it the value of consumption at point t a time period t is equal to 0 0.6 yt uh, plus 0.3 y t minus 1 investment is being given us at a point t is equal to 1000 that means our aggregate output will be equal to that is y t will be equal to c t plus i t i t okay now, what is our consumption function that is being given? That is 0 0.6 yt plus 0 0.3 y. See here, we are being told what will happen in the long run. Okay? So, in the long run, time is enough for consumers to adjust completely to the changes in income. That means we will not have any output lag in the consumption in the long run which means in the long run this t minus 1 okay in the long run this t minus 1 this output lag will tend to t okay so we will not have any output lag in long run for this consumption function that means our long run consumption will be equal to 0 0.6 yt plus 0 0.3 yt again because this t minus 1 will tend to t in the long run plus we have the investment function which is 1000 solving for yt okay and now laguni at here did yt so simple we have 0.6y 0.3y so this is 0.9yt so we have yt minus 0 0.9 if i transpose this here it will become y t is equal to 1000 now y t minus point y t it comes out to be it comes out to be 0 0.1 y t is equal to 1000 which implies our y t will be equal to 1000 okay point 1 it can be written as 1 upon 10 okay when we transpose it will get reciprocated and multiplied so it will become 10 upon 1 it will become okay so so this comes out to be uh, it comes out to be 10,000 okay that means in the long run we will have an output level of 10,000 that will persist our time so the correct option should be D option. So here it should be 10,000. Okay. This is how we solve it. Okay. Simple thing. We uh, In the consumption, we have the output lag. We remove this. And that means T minus 10 tends to T. And solve for the aggregate output, which is uh, the aggregate of consumption and investment. Okay. Now, next question is, suppose consumption uh, is equal to 0 0.6 uh, YT plus 0 0.3 yt minus 1 and investment is 600 plus 0 0.y 
t for all t and the initial condition is that means uh, at period 0 y0 is equal to 4000 initially our uh, you know output is equal to 40000 sorry what is the rate of growth of output in the economy in the period one we need to find out the growth rate of output in the period one okay now simple thing again we have our yt is equal to ct plus it okay so our ct is being given us as 0 0.6 yt uh, plus 0 0.3 y t minus 1 okay plus investment is equal to 600 okay 600 plus 0 0.1 y t okay this is our y t we need to find out the output in the economy in the period 1 okay let's put when when t is equal to 1 in this equation so it will become y1 y1 is equal to 0 0.6 y1 uh, plus 0.3 y in place of t we have 1 minus 1 plus 600 plus 0 0.1 y1 so our output in period 1 will be equal to so we have 0 0.6 let's write it 0 0.6 y1 plus 0 0.3 y1 minus 1 is 0 that means the initial output plus uh, 600 600 plus 0 0.1 y1 okay that means our y1 will be equal to we have 0.6 y1 plus 0.1 y1 these are the like terms so we can add them so this becomes 0.7 y1 0.7 y1 is equal to 0 0.3 uh, y0 plus 600 the cooperation in the tension and I can go yet to okay so this is plus here now transposing this here it will become y1 minus 0 0.7 y1 is equal to 0 0.3 y0 plus 600 so subtracting 0.7 y1 from y1 so we will get 0 0.3 y1 is equal to we have 0 0.3 now what is our y naught we are being told initially our output is 40,000 okay and let me write it here we are being given y naught is equal to 40,000 one is 10 is 100,000 10,000 okay so in place of y naught y1 we have 40,000 40,000 plus 600 okay so we have 0 0.3 it can be written as 3 upon 10 y1 is equal to 0 0.3 into 40,000 uh, it will come out to be uh, so we have 3 upon 10 into 40,000 okay 1 is 10 is 100,000 10,000 you go yes it you go yes it 3 4 are 12,000 so we will get 12,000 here okay so this comes out to be 12,000 plus 600 so it is 12600 that means our y1 will be equal to uh, transposing this here so we have 12600 to this we transpose it will get reciprocated and multiplied so we have 10 upon 3 shut the over so this is divisible by 3 so we have 3 3 4s are 12 3 2s are 6 0 0 so 42 100 into 10 it comes out to be 42,000 okay that means output in period 1 will be equal to 42,000 but we need to find out the rate of growth of output okay 
so rate of growth of output will be equal to for that what should i what should i do so let's write it here okay you can see initially our output was 40000 output in period 1 is equal to 42000 okay now growth rate of output is equal to so let me write it here growth rate of output will be equal to simply that is y1 the output in period 1 minus the output in initially or in period 0 divided by the output in period 0 into 100 simple thing okay we want to find out the percentage increase from uh, initial value to final value initially our output was 40,000 uh, in period uh, 1 our uh, output is 42,000 we need to find percentage increase simple thing so we have uh, 42,000 minus 40,000 this comes out to be you got 2,000 to 2,000 upon 40,000 into 100 so when we convert it into percentage so the zero guy yes it cut them off the eight gasson off the yims guy yes it cancel i draw four divided by 20 so sorry 20 divided by four we got 20 divided by four which comes out to be five percent that means growth rate of output will be five percent i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you